Hoi Chris, daar zijn we weer. Uh, hoe gaat het? En je hebt leuk gewandeld, zag ik. Je hebt leuk gewandeld. Nou, en dan zijn we weer met een nieuwe recept. Ja? Oh, ja, ja. Oh, waar was hij? Witlof met kaas. Dus je moet uh, witlof met kaas maken. Uh, veel succes en uh, toi toi toi. Jij ook? Alaf! Ja, maar nu moeten we eerst een recept uitzoeken. Ga je zitten? Ja, daar gaan we. Uh. Sambalboontjes. Sambalboontjes. Je moet sambalboontjes maken. Dus ja, wij gaan nog even verder met kalmen proberen. Alaf! Hello world, so finally today it's going to be the day I'm going to make the dishes that uh, my two nieces have picked for me. Um, it's going to be two side dishes, but I'm going to throw some other things with it so I have a full dinner. Um, I'm staying with a friend, she lives in Devon. And, well, it's an hour walk to the shop. I could take the bus and everything, but might as well walk. It's such a lovely day. This is the environment I walk in. You can't see much now, but it's beautiful and hilly and all that. So an hour walk to the shop and then full pack, fully packed an hour back. All right, today it's cooking day. Hey. Right, so I am back. I uh, did all the shopping. Of course, I couldn't find everything. So I will go through what I have. And uh, some things I've swapped and some things I've done a little bit differently. But in the end, I hope I'm going to make a nice, nice uh, dinner. This recipe is quite all right. I needed an onion, I needed beans, green beans, I needed garlic, and I needed sambal ulek, but I can't find sambal ulek here. So I just bought some chilies, which is the main ingredient of sambal ulek. For this recipe, I could find most, well, no, I couldn't find most things. What I did have was butter and nutmeg. Um, I had to find lovage, but I couldn't find it, so I just used parsley. I know it's absolutely not the same flavor, but it's the only thing I could use or find in that shop. It's a very little shop. Uh, I needed some uh, cheese, some sliced cheese. It was uh, a mature cheese that I needed. And I thought a cheddar cheese because we're here in England, nice cheddar. But this one was the main ingredient that I had to change. Um, I should have found chicory, and I, I, I had to look up what the word was. I know what it is in Dutch, but I found this one. It's a sweetheart cabbage. I looked up a quick recipe, they're about the same, the shape is almost the same, it's just a bit better, uh, a little bit bigger. So instead of chicory, I have a cabbage. But you can understand it's not enough, so what I want to do, I'm going to make a broccoli soup. Uh, the cut was an offer and it's smoked fish, so I just felt like uh, with some potatoes at the side. I'm going to boil the potatoes in some stock, uh, after that I'm going to use that stock to make the broccoli soup and then uh, fry the potatoes in the skin itself or in the oven i should say with a bit of smoked cod and then just two side dishes picked by my nieces mm. all right this is the kitchen from today what we're going to do first is wash the potatoes so the potatoes are washed chopped in half and i already put some stock on it this was vegetable stock i poured it with a little bit of water so they just covered and then cold water because it, I want them as long as possible in the stock so they get the flavor and then just boil them until they're a little bit um, softer so I can fry them later in the pan. So what I'm doing now, I'm taking all the stalks of the parsley, it should be lovage or however you pronounce it in English but I don't have it, uh, so it, parsley it is. Um, what I'm doing with these stalks, I throw them uh, later on in the soup as well because they give a lovely flavor so no wastage, just cooking. So we have the chopped parsley and the leftover st stalks, I think you call them. So the cabbage and the broccoli is all washed. Uh, the beans are already washed and chopped. So it's all make small, make petit petit. And then, uh, well, it's going quite well along, I would say. Getting there. 
Well, now it's time to chop the broccoli, but don't forget one thing. These things you can eat as well. Most people chuck them away, but if you use them for a soup, or even you can stir fry them. Just chop them very thin, or fry them if you stir fry them, or whack them in the soup. It's all flavor, all goodness, all mmm. So, what we got here, Clint? It's uh, the broccoli, the stem of the broccoli. I put some garlic in, and of course, as I said, the stems of the parsley. Boil this all. It's nice and soft. Blender in it. Mm -mm -mm, soup. Oh, no, wait. Mustard. Just get a few spoons of that in as well. Gives it a little kick. So, soup's done. It was a little bit liquid, liquid, liquid. And uh, so I whacked some potatoes in because I had some uh, boiled ones that I'm going to fry later on for our main, the main course. Um, so I put some potatoes in, boil them a bit longer and then blended them in so it, the soup is a bit thicker and fluffy. So these are the two recipes. Um, you know, it's very simple. So it's beans chopped and washed and divided in half. Uh, I, I'm going to fry them in a little bit of sesame oil and butter. Um, because sesame oil, I think it gives a nice taste. Very thin, thin onion that's going to be on the end of it. Uh, <laughs> I think I get a bit too much garlic. Chili, butter for frying. Then the other dish is, <clears throat> well, like I said, I have the cabbage. I didn't have the chicory or chuckery or whatever you call it. But anyway, it looks the same. What I'm going to do, I'm going to put a little bit of oil on top of them. Where's the thing? There we go. A little bit of oil on it. Uh, then I fry them in the oven until they're nice and brownly colored. Then a bit of nutmeg and parsley. Uh, and again, I didn't have the original recipe in it, the lovach or lovago. Uh, and then I put some cheese on top, make sure it's all nice and golden brown. And that are the two recipes that I had to make. But besides that, again, I have some soup and I have some potatoes Ooh, and some smoked fish. So as you see, we I chopped it in half. I put a little bit of oil on top. I stick it in the oven until it's a bit fried, I think, a bit golden, um, about 10, 15 minutes. Then I put the cheese on top, the nutmeg and a bit of parsley, stick it back in, make it golden brown. Dish ready. Mm. All right, so I cooked the cabbage for about 10 minutes. As you can see, it's got a little brown color on it. Um, I got potatoes, they're almost drowning, but that's the oil from Laura from yesterday, and I'm just reusing it, so don't blame me for too much oil, but they're gonna be nice and crispy, that's for sure. <laughs> then I have some cheese here, that's gonna go on top of it. First, we put the parsley, a lot of parsley, I like parsley. So parsley in the dish, loads of it. Like I said, it should be the other spice, but I don't have it, so we use parsley. Loads on it, then put cheese on it. Put it back in the oven, uh, make sure it has brown crust. In the meantime, I put the smoked, I want to say haddock. Was it haddock? I don't know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah haddock. Smoked the haddock back in the oven, or in the oven. It's going to be 10, 15 minutes. And then dinner served. Mm. Well, in the recipe, it says normally one clove of garlic, but I don't believe in recipes that much. So I did use garlic, but I did use three cloves. So, if you think what's all that white stuff, garlic. So, I put the potatoes with the, with the cabbage uh, thingy. And uh, the cheese is not completely brown yet, but it looks alright. It looks very nice and well melted. So, yeah, I think, I think we're good to go. So, this is it, guys. The cabbage with cheese, the spicy beans, potatoes, and the fish we created ourselves. And uh, I think we're going to have a delicious meal. Thank you very much for the recipe, and I think it's going to be lovely. Bye! Well, everybody, we're having the dish now, and it's really amazing. I think we're all surprised about the cabbage, not really the cabbage. Good, good. Cabbage. delicious, but delicious. Yeah. So, okay. thank you very much for the recipe, and uh, well, I can't wait until the next one. Cheers! Bye! Bye! <laughs> Bye. <laughs>